Hey everybody. Take a careful look at my desk. See if you notice anything different. Yeah, of course I've always got a collection of stuff in here, so it's always kind of messy. See if you can see a difference. I'm referring to the lighting. You know, it's still lit, it's still lit up nice and bright and everything, but there's been a change. You may notice if you pay attention to the title of this video. Yeah, look at there. So yes, I have um, upgraded lighting in here. Went from halogens to LED. Say a little bit of power and um, put out some great light. These are um, GE um, MR16 LED light fixtures. I have two of them, one here and one here. Now that one up there is still halogen, that's a 35 watt halogen. And let's go ahead and power that on, show you what it looks like. Yes. Nice and bright, and that's because this, you know, it's a plastic bulb. You know, it's actually lit up on the outside. That's probably a good bit of light, but not as good a light as this. This is a um, a a wider light, basically, different color to it. That's a good look at what the bulb looks like. And let's see if I have any other lights in here so we can show you something here. Um, let's power one of these off so you can get a good look at it. It's just three LEDs. I think they're Cree LED. Um, yeah, it's only three of them. Now this little assembly here does get pretty dang hot. Probably because there's resistors in there. You know, you know, pretty much resistors are common in LED circuits. But yeah. Um, not too shabby. Let's see. And of course, main China. Go figure. 12 volt AC or, you know, 12 volt DC. 330 milliamp. 3000K, 4 watt. Not bad. Now, these were not the cheapest things out there as common with LED lights um, you know kind of LED lights like this um, they have come down over time I probably spent a little extra since I bought them local I picked these up at Walmart actually and I think the total for both of them together was about $35 so yeah it was pretty good big chunk of money considering um, one of those is about six dollars but these claim to last up to 20 years depending on depending on usage so they'll be around for a long long time now the halogens actually last a good while too um, let me show you something so these are the two bulbs that used to go over there These two little guys right here. This one was installed, I would say, a year ago, a year, maybe two years ago. That light there didn't used to be there. I added it in later on to give extra lighting for this desk. This one here was installed only about two months ago. That's because it replaced the existing light that was up there since 2010. So yeah. Um, the halogens do tend to last a pretty good while, but they consume a bit more power and they get very freaking hot. Very, very hot. Now these get hot too, but they're not as hot as the halogens. Get you a good look at that light. Watch the camera compensate for it. Now you can actually, if it wasn't rocking around, it would be a little easier. But that's, that's sort of what it looks like when it's lit up, and obviously the camera has compensated big time for how bright these things are but I'd say they look pretty nice so yes we officially have new LED lighting in here at least for the desk I do plan to um, replace that one as well just not right away 
the reason why is because um, when I initially put this light and that light in, I just simply soldered the bulbs directly to the wires. And a buddy of mine, um, he had a bunch of these pigtails for MR16s. And I had a whole handful of them. And I basically just installed them as I replaced lights in here. Now when I put when I hung this slide in here, this um, pigtail was installed right then and there. But this light used to be soldered directly to the um, you know the old light was soldered to the bulb, and I put this pigtail in when I installed. Let's see this replacement bulb. Now that light up there is from of course from 2010, late 2010, and it's been going for all these years. And you can see how it's just soldered directly to the wires. So, um, in order to replace this, I gotta cut this out and install a pigtail, which it's not too much to it. Just a little bit of soldering, some heat shrink, and put it on. Maybe it takes about five, ten minutes to do so. But yeah, I'll, I'll soon have this one replaced as well. And one thing I do like about these is, um, you can see how bright that bulb is over there just looking at it from an angle. Yeah, let me go and re-aim this one over here, which is you're not seeing right now, but um the other thing I like about these new bulbs is they're not so bright when you look at them from the side. They're only bright, you know, where it matters, up under the light itself. Like for example, you can see that one over there. It's not blindingly bright like that over there is. So anyways, I know it's going on seven minutes over a video that just has to do with new lights, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments? Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.